This is the pumpkin promenade, and it takes you into one of the most unique fall displays you'll ever see. It's just pretty amazing how they put it all together and who actually carves them all. It's pretty crazy. This popular Westchester event is organized by the nonprofit Historic Hudson Valley. What's a family friendly event? What's something we can do that doesn't involve people jumping out at you? And we hit upon this idea of a display of jack o' lanterns. We didn't know what people would think. We started modestly 14 years ago, and now it has grown into one of the largest ticketed Halloween events in the country. There are pumpkins of all sizes fashioned into amazing displays, like a carousel and a bridge. Do you have a favorite that you've seen? I, my favorite's probably the Statue of Liberty. And the pumpkins you bridge. The pumpkins are like super cool. Every fall brings new pumpkin art. This year, there are the zodiac signs, this castle, and a working windmill. We have a whole list of things that we haven't even gone into yet. Uh, each year we come up with ideas or people suggest ideas. Those ideas come to life on this quarter of a mile loop of lanterns. It takes most people about 45 minutes to see and photograph all 25 installations. But it took a team of 20 artists weeks to design and hand carve each of the more than 7,000 jack-o'-lanterns on display. People lucky enough to attend say carving these pumpkins might be tricky, but viewing them is a treat. It was like the perfect like for kids, for adults, everything. It was beautiful. So they refresh the pumpkins every week, so there's always something new to see. This is a hard ticket to come by. This event is basically sold out between now and Halloween, but you'll still have plenty of chances to see it. That's because it's open through the Saturday after Thanksgiving. In Croton on Hudson, Elise Finch, CBS 2 News.